And welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, part of Portable Summer from Let's Play Corner. When we last left off, we explored around in the past of uh, Labiana a little bit, Labrina, whatever the heck it's pronounced, and uh, we found out that Queen Ambi likes mystery seeds, and uh, we gave her mystery seeds and she gave us bombs so we can get into level 2. And we saw another little appearance of Varen. We saw this one in level 2 a little bit now, and... Let's continue going through level 2 and see what we can find. So, level 2 is a little bit longer and a little bit more puzzlier than level 1, but it's still not too bad. There's the map. See, as you can see, it's a not longer dungeon, so. So, we got a little ways to go, but it's not going to be too bad. We've got to be careful of all this little audio and stuff. And with the uh, item, well, we can't... I'll go ahead and grab that because it doesn't hurt. The item's going to be very nice in this area once we get it. Just nothing we can do about it right now. So many ropes. Alright, so now we get in here, we get a small key. Hooray. So now we have to go all the way back through here again. So uh, it's all that just for a small key. Music in this level is kind of lacking. Oh, it's just do 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 do. The music in this level compared to some of the other levels is just sorely lacking. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just let's go ahead and put our shield on. Just so I don't waste any more bombs. All right, so now, now that we have a key, we can go further in. And for this area, we get the compass. All right, so let's look around up in here now. Another one of these little things that we can't do. Now with that key, we can now go through that door. That's why we couldn't... Can we do anything about here to get that? Or are we going to have to go the other direction to get that? I don't know. I don't remember. We may, we, yeah, we may have to get the other, go in the other direction. So let's go in here through here. And let's get into our little first little mine cart. Let's get rid of these bats and keys first. Alright, let's go riding on a mine cart. Reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. And Oracle of Age Seasons and everything else. So now we're getting into some new areas that we haven't been able to get into yet. Hooray! Now we're on the other side of this room, which leads us to the mini boss. One with no wings is no match for me. So, yeah, what, we, what he does here is he flies around, and once he lands, that's when you that's when you hit him with the sword. And also he starts crumbling apart of the part of the floor as you can see. And if you fall, you fall down here. I just wanted to show that off. So now we have to work our way back up to where the mini boss is at. But luckily it's not too bad. We just gotta Go through a couple rooms up the stairs, and it should lead us right back to where the mini boss was at. So, yeah, right here. Nothing we can do there, so we have to go back this way. And back to the mini boss. Here we are, see? One with no wings is no match for me. So, basically, what we have to do is dodge the holes that he makes, and when he hits the ground, that's when he slices him with the sword. And it'd, it'd probably be even better to get him with a uh, spin attack, which is what I'm doing now. And how to do a spin attack is basically like everything else. You basically just hold down the, the sword button and uh, just swing. Let go of the A button and swing with the A button. It's not too bad. You just got to be careful of the holes. And you, gotta, you just got to know where he uh, lands at, too. That's really about it. He's not hard. It's a little time consuming, but it ain't bad. And also, you can't break the the blue floor, so as long as you stay on the blue floor, he's not too bad, and we beat him. Get me my fairy. 
And now we have a new area we can go into. Yay! It's the other side of this room that we couldn't originally go to. Check out the map now. See? Now we have two ways we can go. Let's go down first and see what we got. Nothing we can really do here right now. I mean, we could, but it's easier to just... It'll be nice to get the item that we get in this dungeon. Alright, so now let's see what this owl says. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take? With the blue wings soar over the colored heights. Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing we can do about that right now. Let's go up here and grab whatever's up here. So I have a clue too for what item we're going to be getting in this dungeon too. Soaring. And here it is. You got the rock's feather. You feel light as a feather. Yep, so now we can go definitely go new places with this rock's feather. Rock's feather you can jump. Which is always nice. And there's a way you can get that uh, rupee too. By jumping on here. On him. We can squeeze through here and let's get this rupee. You got 30 rupees. Now remember what he said to uh, soar over. Yeah just like that. You have to jump over that to turn it red. And now we can go in here to this new room. Now we have so many new places we can go and so much dungeon we can do. Let's go back real quick and go check out the other room. And we're about to die. Since we haven't... Okay, so we can't go back. Oh, actually, I think we can, but just gotta unlock the door. Yeah. There's that room we didn't check up there on the north part yet. So now we can go up here and just slice that those and it We didn't go over here and check out this room, so let's go check out this room over here. Anything interesting? Ah, I'm glad I came in here because there is a key or some kind of treasure chest in here. Now the key to this one is you gotta pay attention to those blocks on the left. Notice the blocks on the right side are blue and it rocks just like that and it drops a small key so nothing we can really else do in here right now so let's continue going now we can finally head back over there and head to that uh, room we couldn't go into a that we were heading to originally boom and boom Oh, there we go. Now let's head over here following now. As long as we don't die. Woo. Somebody gonna give me a heart? Alright, so now we get a new mine cart. Alright, so now let's see what we got here. Back in the mine cart we go. So now we have to somehow hit the switch, which will lead us out there. Which also uh, get over here so we can get out over here. Let's first let's bomb this wall and see what's behind us. Wall number six. Ooh. Somebody gonna give me a heart, please? I'm about to die here. Alright, so now we get a treasure chest in here with... Another small key, yay! So you just gotta pay attention to these little on and in stuff. All right. So now we have to push this block. I'm not sure what color we got to push it, but let's find that out. It's not that color, so it has to be blue. Yeah, it's blue. So now we can go back in the minecart and head off to the next area that we couldn't originally go to because that was in our way. We have done everything there is to do on this bottom floor now, so that's it for this bottom floor. We got two keys, so 
So let's move on. And we died. My first death of the LP. Six videos in. I should have saved. So now we can go further in. Probably be easier just to head back here and... Yeah. Yeah, so now, it's, it's now with this, we can actually go a little bit further in. So now let's head back over here. Y'all gonna drop me some hearts, or are we just gonna play this stupid game? Ooh, you dropped me a heart. That's always nice. So now we can actually go up in here to... Alright, so now minecart time, again. So we're just continuing on along. Which will be a little bit... Okay, now I know where to go. Alright, so here, we need to head down to this bottom floor. I mean, when we couldn't do anything about down, anything down here, now we can. We can jump across, and across, and across. And we're about to die again. Of course, why not? Kind of sad I'm dying on the level 2 of a Zelda game. <sighs> now we open up that right there and now we can... Find out some way to get to that uh, another... Of course, I pushed the wrong button. I'm going to die, so... I'm dead. Again. Second death. Hope that I actually saved. I'll have to do that again. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Somebody give me some hearts, please. Rupees are nice, but I don't need rupees right now. I need hearts. And this music's starting to grate me a little bit. I just don't like the music in this dungeon. It's so bland. And so we need to find out about a new minecart here. So there's another minecart we can use up here. I'm just not sure where we go to get it at. So let's look around a little bit. And that doesn't carry over, so we're going to have to do that all over again. Of course. I should have just went ahead and just used the warp. It would have been a lot easier. Oh, well. Let's try this again and with a little bit more gusto and not die this time. <sighs> of course. All right. Jump over, jump over. Now lift that up. But now we just gotta figure out where to get that mine card at. Be nice to find that out, wouldn't it? Alright, so let's see, where we have where have we let's go up here. Because we haven't really been up here yet. And then we got a small key, so now we can go through. Ah, here we are. Now with that out of the way, we can continue through here. And this lead us to a whole new area. Just continue swinging your sword like crazy. And now that chest we couldn't get, now we can get it. And it has, my gosh, a seed better than nothing, you know. All right, now we need to have. Oh my God, if I die again, I'm gonna cry. Why am I dying so much is what I want to know. I'm not being careless, am I? It would have been... Okay, now I know for sure. Now we need one of those pots. 
to push along. So we're gonna have to push these block this pot all along to hit that button. So we're gonna have to do a lot of switching between items, between the uh, power bracelet and the uh, rock feather. <sighs> and now hold us on that button and now we can get through. Hooray. So am I going to give me some uh, hearts or am I going to die just die again? Well, okay, I got a heart there, so it's not too bad. Let's see what's down here. Alright, to get this one, you have to really pay attention to the left side. See what his left side is? You have to hit this and this. Going to move that. And then move um, this one in right here. We have to move the uh, reds in first. Ah. No. You push those buttons and you can actually... Oh, I messed up already. So let's first things first. Let's go ahead and move that uh, to the center, right there. Go ahead and get that situated, and we'll move uh, these all in place. Go boom, boom. All around the uh, yellow one. Just like that. And then we'll move the red ones into place. There. There. Here. And that beeping starting to get annoying. Beep. 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 And push that in. And that gives us another small key. So there we go. So now with this small key, we can go in here and grab this. So now what we have to do here is jump over this little switch, which reveals these jellies. We have to beat the jellies. We can't beat the jellies while they're in their the same color. But when you change colors, they change colors for a second. And you'll be able to hit them. So you just gotta jump over them and be fast. Just like this. Boom. And and once we defeat all the jellies, then we'll get the item that we need. Come on, jelly. And that unlocks this chest, which gives us the boss key. Alright. So there's nothing really left to do now, but to go through this door right here, which will lead us to the, bo uh, the boss room. Fairy! Oh, thank God. I think we'll be okay now. Alright, so now... Just have... The, let's go through here nice and easy. Which leads us now to the boss. Alright, and it gives us a little clue of how to beat the boss. I'm going to read this little clue out to you. The red face steers smoke. So there you go. So, just got to remember the red face fears smoke. So let's go in and welcome to boss number two. All right, so now we got to make, we don't even need the sword for this battle. So you have to get on these little things and make sure that you face the, uh, Make sure you throw the bomb when it's the red face. And I'm not doing this too well. So yeah, this is not looking too well right now. Alright, so what we have to do, like I said, is hit the red face when it... with the bomb. When it says it turns red. I may die this battle. It's actually a pretty difficult boss battle. 
So we hit the uh, blue face. So they're going to shoot out little fireballs at, at you. And I died. All right, I'll meet y'all back at the boss room. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, get everything set up, and let's take two on this again. I made it back to the boss. So I got to make sure I dodge these fireballs. Fireballs, yum. And make sure I hit a bomb. Make sure I hit, the, hit it when it's the uh, red face. Otherwise, it's just going to be disastrous. So. That's not turning out well. Jeez. I did not. That was not the red face. So this is not going to be too good. So yeah, purple face shoots out. I mean, falls down on the ground like a thwomp. And we also lose one of our little platforms. Uh, okay, this time it's a green face, so this is not going to be good. I hit, I hit it with the green face. I don't know what to do with this. My time is just way off. What green face is going to shoot out a bunch of fireballs? As long as you stay over here and wait, you should be alright. I'm going to die again, ain't I? Yep, I'm definitely going to die again because my timing is so bad. Alright guys, I'll be back. Alright, let's take three on this boss. Here we are. Once again. Alright, so the basically here, the time, the T is just get the timing down. And the timing is right after the purple face. I'm just not getting the timing down. This, uh, I, I'm... I just don't know what to do. All right, I'm down. I'm running out of bombs again already. I don't know what to do. All right, so. The T is just. Hopefully, you can. Get it in when the uh, red, uh, red face goes in. That's all I can do. I'm out of bombs now, too, so I'm basically. Okay, he does throw more bombs. He's gotta. No. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to just time it just perfectly and just drop it from above. That was not the red face. That was purple face. Which will drop stuff over here. As long as you stay over here on the ladder, you won't get hit by it, so. So I just gotta make, watch these fireballs. And, uh. There we go, finally got one. It was red. Hold on a second, guys. Finally got one in. So now he's going to drop a heart, which will give me fill my heart. And now we just repeat the process. You can go a little bit faster this time, but the process is now basically the same. All right, so I finally got one in. All right, that was green this time, so... I, can't, I forgot what green does. It's the uh, fireball. So as long as you stay over here, you'll be fine. All 
All right, I got the red a second time. Hooray, I'm finally starting to get it now. It's just all about timing. You're gonna jump another heart, finally. So now we are off again. Now he's even faster than before. We'll wait for the uh, fireballs. Third time, finally. We're finally getting some progress. Let's grab this heart, make sure we're at full health. All right. Now, here comes number four, and he's even faster than before. Let's wait for the uh, flames to go away. Uh, green again, so he's just going to shoot the fireball, so... So let's dodge, let's stay over here on the ladder, dodge the fireballs, and let's go. That's fine. I'll take the hit. He's going to throw more fireballs. This one, you have to go a little bit faster on the timing, so as soon as you see the... Blue face. You need to go ahead and probably drop a bomb. So make sure you get the timing down and go. Alright, it was purple face that time. Purple face is going to drop. So stay on the ladder. So you can't do it on the purple face. You just got to drop it really quick. Okay. I think I was green that time. This is a, one of the tougher bosses in the game. It really, truly is. The green's gonna throw more fireballs out. All right. Here we are. I'll take the hit. I'm not doing too bad right now on health. Okay, now I just gotta—I gotta get my timing back again. Ugh, I'm, I'm missing it barely. I'm hitting purple or green, making this boss a lot harder than what he actually is. I mean, this boss is difficult, but it's all about timing. Now it's purple again. What if this is the last time you gotta do it? I hope this is the last time. I don't know, I forgot how many times he actually got to hit him. I don't know if it's four times or five times. I guess we'll find out here in just a second. Go over here and just clear away from these fireballs first. Think I got it finally that time. I'm out of bombs too, so. I did. Alright. That's it. Finally, four times. We got him. Ooh. And let's grab the heart container and let's head down here, which will lead us to this floor over here, which leads us to the second essence of time, which is a Christmas tree. You got the ancient woods and essence of time. It whispers only truth to close ears from out of stillness. I was going to start the, the uh, trading sequence in this video because there's, there's two things you can start the trading sequence in. Uh, in the past, where you can start the trading sequence, but nothing I can really do about that now. We ain't got since an essence of time on the South Seas Crescent Island. Find a way there from the town's coast. So our next goal will be Crescent Island. But we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, we're going to start our first couple of little things for the trading sequence. And do a little bit more stuff, and then we'll ultimately start getting to level 3 down here in the Crescent Island. So you have a good day. I will see you all next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. This is DKS3A, the Crazy Gamer. Signing out.